Hello? Oh, no, Kimberly's not home right now. Okay, Ron, bye. I'm here, I'm here, don't hang up, please! Oh, sorry about that, Kimberly. I didn't know you were home, it was Ron. Oh, darn. I really would have liked to talk to him. He's so gorgeous. <laughs> Call him back. Oh, I can't do that. He'll think I'm being pushy and I might scare him away. Kimberly, I thought you were supposed to be a liberated woman. Just tell him you don't feel like waiting for him to call back. You'll impress him with your honesty. Willis, you're absolutely right. Or you'll scare him away. <laughs> Thanks a lot for your help, Ann Landers. Hi. Hey, Arnold. You won't believe what happened to me. What happened? Don't ask. <laughs> Is Lady Luck still slapping you around? She's working overtime. <laughs> it wasn't enough that I had a rotten day at school. On the way home, I met up with the world's dumbest pigeon. It mistook me for a statue. <laughs> Poor baby. Freeze! It's probably Ron. Hi, Ron. Oh, just a minute. <laughs> Someone's snarling on the phone for you, Arnold. <laughs> Uh-oh. There's only one person that could be, the gooch. <laughs> Is that bully still in school? I thought he got expelled for nailing the principal's tires to the parking lot. <laughs> nah, he said it was an accident. You better take it, Arnold. I think I hear him chewing up the phone. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hey, Gooch, how you doing? Yeah. What? Oh, come on, Gooch. Would I call your sister a puff-bellied porker? <laughs> yeah, well, hey, Gooch, who you gonna believe, me or 12 witnesses? <laughs> oh, come on, Gooch, can we talk it over? Gooch, but I... What'd he say? Something about sweeping up the playground with my lips. <laughs> Daddy's home. Hi, Daddy. Hey, Dad. Hi, Dad. How you doing, son? Awful. Now, on top of everything, I got the gooch breather down my neck with his terrible tuna bread. <laughs> well, maybe this will change things for you. What is it? That's a gift from a Japanese business associate of mine. I happened to mention to him that you were having a run of bad luck, and so he sent that for you. A bug? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's no ordinary bug, Arnold. That is a Japanese cricket. They're supposed to bring you good luck. Hey, it's got a pretty big voice for a little bug. It's not his voice, Willis. Makes that noise by rubbing its legs together. It's also the way it attracts females. I wonder if that would work for me. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Drummond. Hi, Pearl. Arnold, you've been into the guacamole again. How did you know? I found your lost baseball card in it. Reggie <gasps> Jackson, I thought he was gone forever. Well, luckily I found him in time. He was sinking fast. <laughs> hey, Arnold, look at that. Looks like your lucky crick is working already. Yeah, maybe it'll help me get the gooch off my back. Oh, thanks, Dad, and thank your friend. Okay. Maybe I'll call him lucky, unless it's a female. I guess it doesn't matter, because I don't know how to tell the difference anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Well, I hope it works. <laughs> Mr. Drummond, do you really believe in a lucky cricket? <laughs> I mean, if it's true, you could use it to get money, friends, a husband. Would you happen to have another one? <laughs> oh, I don't really believe the cricket will bring him luck, Pearl. But if Arnold believes that it will, that could give him a more positive attitude. That could help anybody's luck. That's right. I have a positive attitude about girls. Need I say more? 